this is Bob Capelli again from Scientec Corporation and uh, last we talked about astaxanthin as an antioxidant. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about astaxanthin's anti-inflammatory properties. Now inflammation and oxidation are actually closely linked and uh, most good antioxidants have some anti-inflammatory properties as well. Astaxanthin is a unique and strong powerful antioxidant as an anti-inflammatory, it's very different. It's not strong. It's actually mild. But you know what? That's a very, very good thing. Now, if you think about it, pretty much any anti-inflammatory you get from a drugstore, whether it's a prescription drug or whether it's an over-the-counter medicine, has side effects. All of them do. Uh, if you take, say, over-the-counter things like Tylenol, aspirin, uh, these are all anti-inflammatories. Well, aspirin can actually start uh, used over time and start hurting your, your stomach lining and cause ulcers. Things like uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, things like Tylenol and naproxen and uh, Aleve and all these different name brands, many of those can actually cause liver damage over time. If you get into the prescription anti-inflammatories, uh, drugs like Vioxx and Celebrex, for example, now Vioxx is no longer in the market because after several years of use, they found that it was actually causing uh, heart attacks and it, it killed many people. Uh, Celebrex is still in the market but with all kinds of warnings. So the point is that these other anti-inflammatories work in very profound and a deep way uh, and very, very strongly to combat usually just one cause of inflammation. Most likely it's the COX-2 enzyme. Astaxanthin is different. It works on several different inflammatory causes. Uh, COX-2 is one of them, but in a very mild, mild and gentle way. COX-1 enzyme as well. Uh, scientific words you might not understand, but things like tumor necrosis uh, factor, um, things like um, prostaglandins, so all these different things, there's about six different ways that asanthin gently reduces causes of inflammation. But the nice thing about asanthin is absolutely zero side effects. And this has been shown after like many, many years of use in all kinds of different safety studies. And um, the one thing that's a negative I have to point out is that it doesn't work as fast as the other anti-inflammatories. So if you have like painful uh, problems, say arthritis, or uh, even if you have just soreness after exercise, or uh, if you have uh, uh, carpal tunnel syndrome, repetitive stress injury, uh, tennis elbow, all these things manifest with pain and loss of mobility, astaxanthin will work in general just about as well as all these prescription or over-the-counter drugs, but it takes much longer. It usually takes about a month to start kicking in, anywhere from two to maybe six to eight weeks before it really starts working well. But once it works, again, just as well as some of these other products and with no contraindications or side effects.